word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we have great conversations. I've changed cool. it. <laughs> that was Threw changed. Threw me off. I that was, did change, didn't I was uh, lip syncing you and just got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I think there's going to be a slight deviation to the original plan of the B-Side Word because I feel okay. like we have interesting things to say now. We've... Um, researched a lot of like articles will still be the basis of our conversations but i think i think we're open to new new topics on this um on uh on our conversations what do you think i'll just bring it on these i'm just i I just sprung it on these guys wait what do you want to talk about (laughs) you just you just freestyling i just freestyling it mate changed it up (laughs) and as a change up i wanted to ask I wanted to ask the boys more than you, Ems. Sexist pig. Well, it sort of is. <laughs> but, you know... Uh, sexist, sexist pig! You know, when you, whenever you get a massage, do you ever get a massage <laughs> off a male masseuse? Yeah. Yes. Yes? Is it, yeah. do, yes. Is it like... Do you ask for it or is it like if someone presents it to you, do you just say, oh, cool? Or is it like, oh, uh, is there someone else? <laughs> no, the best I... massages I've had are from guys. Uh, yeah. Right. Oh, dude, I had this little time. <laughs> and and she was phenomenal. Go, is it? <laughs> like she, she had her elbows in my back and she's like digging in. She was gun. She was awesome. The The old lady. Or the girl? Yeah, she's like, she an old lady, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, like she worked at old school. She had her elbows in my back. She was like moving crap. I didn't know. Because I, I was great after. I was talking to some someone right about um, having yeah. massages, and the guy said that he prefers getting her off male masseuses because he doesn't have to sh- like show off. So if it's a girl masseuse, he sort of tenses, and so he's like, oh yeah, what? yeah, you know, like. <laughs> He's sort of showing off. <laughs> but no he goes, way. when it's a male masseuse, he can just relax. He goes, I don't have to show off to this. I don't have to impress him. I don't care what he thinks to me. He's like, he's just trying to get all the knots out. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd ask. Okay. Ask. In all honesty, the, the, the ladies, a lot of the female masseuses I've had have been yeah. a little bit older, a bit yeah. long in the tooth, you know? <laughs> and I ain't really trying to impress them either. So. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I, I can be, I can be relaxed. Yeah. It's not like I'm getting this hot 19 year old running to rub my back. Nah, no, no, I get what you're saying. All right, I'm getting so like some 55, had, um... some 55 lady, 55 year old lady in trackies. Uh-huh. Okay, in trackies. That's what I'm getting. Okay, in trackies, mate. They love it. They're loving their trackies, mate. <laughs> what are you saying? So I've only ever had um, sports massages. I've never like had like a Swedish or anything. Like if I go in, I want you to fix me. So yeah. Yeah. It tends to be the, the guys are better just because they've got stronger hands. Uh. Oh, you'd be surprised. This little, like, the, the little Asian lady, she was quite powerful. Yeah. Like, I, I had to tell her, I, I had to tell her, me. like, ease up, love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's what, I mean, sports massages are, by nature, if you're not in pain, then you're not doing it right. Oh, I, I, don't, they, they, won't, uh, they won't tell you that because you're supposed to let them know if it's too painful, but me work it out. But no, I've, I mean, I've had massages from women before and I think um, I've, I've been in a situation where I've kind of left and gone, right, now can I get my massage, please? Oh, I just wow. need another one because it's not really done it. Um, yeah. But the... the f- the last guy that I went to, this was actually a benefit through work. He was in our office and um, he was very, very, very good at what he does. But the funniest part is this guy had the wettest handshake you've ever like given with anyone. Like, she like go to grab his hand and it's just like, what is, does you, is your hand even there? Is he's just like this. <laughs> and then, and then he starts massaging and you're like, oh my God. Gosh, your hands are anvils. Like, where has this oh come from? Yeah, hang on a second. You know, I just misheard Alexander. And he brings his own lubricant. I, I thought Alexander said he has the wettest hands. He did. No, wettest handshake. Like, just weak. Is that what it means? That's what he meant. Is- oh, I thought I thought he was perspiring a lot. Yeah. So, wettest no, means no, no, weak. No, no. Weak handshake. Yeah. 
Oh. You know, Maybe that's an English thing. I don't know. Yeah, wait, like a really like pathetic. Oh. So it's like his hand had no ability to be in a handshake. <laughs> no I think he's ability. Just conserving all, <laughs> conserving all his hand energy. <laughs> yeah, that's what he was doing. He was saving that energy up to break your back. Oh, uh-huh. you're like, oh, this this guy ain't gonna do nothing to me. Help me, please. <laughs> so, Ems, have you ever had a Make masseuse from a male? A masseuse, a massage from a male. Yeah, Chinese massage, probably in his fifties or whatever. And yeah. then uh, here's the one that like you need acupuncture. I was like, no, 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 I don't. Yes, you do. You need. No, no, no. Yes, you need. Fine. Bloody cost an arm no, and leg, didn't yeah, it? More yeah. than the massage. And then I was like freaking out because I hate acupuncture. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, usually women. Yeah. Well, uh, there was one time I like um I rolled my ankle. We're talking about acupuncture. I rolled my ankle and it swole. It was swole. It was. It was. I couldn't foot. I couldn't fit my foot in a shoe. It was so big, right? And the guy, I go to the acupuncture uh, like to get a massage, like just to ease the swelling, That's what they whatever. All say. And then he goes, "Oh, you need to get acupuncture on your ankle." I go, "Nah, nah, 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 nah. I need this to just relax, like you know, just to chill out for a sec." He goes, "Nah, nah, nah. I'll, I'll bring it down." I'm like, "I go, uh." So I, I put my foot there reluctantly, put my foot on the on the table, and he starts to put the first needle in. Instant pain. I said, nah, I nah, was nah, next nah. to nah, I was nah, in the nah, one nah, next nah, to nah, you because nah. it's just the curtain divider and you were like in pain. And by the way, that's so funny that you bring that up because I was just actually researching about massaging bruises and stuff like that because hmm. our kid has like hurt, hurt his foot or whatever. Oh, so Aiden... He's on crutches at the moment, but he doesn't really oh, need it. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need yeah. it. But um, it is apparently not like a myth, but you, they say you should not actually massage a bruise because the myth is you massage, it brings it out, right? Well, it's to increase blood yeah. flow in it or something. But okay. yeah, it's increased blood that's flow what the they area. say. It increases blood flow and it helps bring it out. But however, mm. so... It can actually do more damage because the 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 bruising is broken capillaries and stuff, right? Mm. If you do it, you're just going to break more capillaries and stuff like that, and it's not actually letting it heal. Right. So you could make it worse by doing that. I read it yesterday, but, could but you it, just bought it. Could out. you make it better? Um, there's like a slight chance that you can make it better, but the risks <laughs> the risks outweigh the pros. <laughs> I don't know about this article. How many articles no, no, did you read? The, a few. The risks outweigh the pros okay so see i've never in even in some heard ways the idea it could of... possibly make it better but in more ways than not it's gonna make it worse yeah. I'm, I'm always massaging bruises mm. i've i've never heard that like the idea of massaging a bruise to make it better i had not heard it until i met dev yeah is uh, it just a you thing dev yeah I, I seem to heal faster. I'm like, well, no, I think yeah, you were brought <laughs> up like I think your mum said that, like, does that as well. Yeah, or maybe it's like cultural. It's but... not like it's like walk it off. My leg's broken. Walk it off. It'll heal while you walk. <laughs> so, so it the boy's off. in crutches now, is he? <laughs> I tell you what, this this boy. He yes, can't. I was he, on can't the phone he can't. With, he can't walk it off. <laughs> I was on the phone with Emma and you know seeing seeing him upset with his foot. And then Emma, as the great mum she is, knocked his foot <laughs> while giving him his toast. And I went to I've not and seen. And I pushed his foot back like that. Oh, I've, I've just not seen anyone like visually in that much pain in a long time. <laughs> and then Emma's, you know, like, oh, I'm not feeling bad. And we're talking, oh, you know, we go get an ice pack or something. And I'm just having a chat with her while she's doing it. She goes into the kitchen. About two seconds later, he's talking normally. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I said I was fine now. And he goes, uh, yeah. I know. And I've never heard someone in more pain than that yeah. child was a second ago. <laughs> it's it's either it's either extreme, extreme, like murderous screams or... That's usually know, I'm, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, no, all good. All good. <laughs> and it's within so an instant. Now he's hobbling around, is he? He's on the... <laughs> well, I took him to crutch. the hospital yesterday. We don't need to talk for, about. How did he hurt himself? Well. How did he hurt himself? Got kicked in he playing football, soccer. Yes. Learned your lesson. <laughs> well, I was saying soccer all day, and then I'd said it about twenty times, and he said football. <laughs> 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 he 
could not. He couldn't hack <laughs> it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> did, did he kick the other kid back? No. No, he was at school. I don't teach that. Not on, not on air anyway. Um, <laughs> what's our first um conversation? Oh goodness, yeah. So that's why we're here. So um, <laughs> this you you put some cool articles in actually this week. Did I? Yeah, but I thought I'd start off with one. And uh, you this, sound surprised. This I... <laughs> person goes by the name. Carlos Kaiser. Wow. I don't know if I said that right. Is he Spanish German? Uh, did I sound German? <laughs> I tried to sound German a few like weeks you... ago and that didn't work. No, the last name, Carlos Kaiser. Kaiser. Carlos Kaiser. Kaiser sounds well, like I something don't... that you'd be saying in a racist term to Germans. I don't Require... actually <laughs> think his name is Kaiser. I think that's what people called him. Mm. But do you know who it is? Because you put this article in. Yeah. Oh, uh, I want... do you know who it is, uh, CJ? No idea. You should know. Okay, so I don't know. Carlos. No, no idea. <laughs> so this was really interesting. This is an old story. I think they've put out a new documentary film, and that's oh, okay. probably why it's popped up. Um, but it's the story of Carlos. Now, he is one of the most famous footballers in Brazil, right? Mm. He was he was in professional football teams for over 20 years and he never played football. He never played a game. He never played a game. He never touched the he never touched the ball in a game of football. <laughs> right? <laughs> but did he get on the pitch? Um Obviously, no, probably not. <laughs> so he was basically a like a, a con artist. He was a con artist. Well, he was a con artist, and he had he conned his way into these teams, <laughs> and not only football. He used to con other stuff as well. Yeah. But he he basically conned his way into these teams, and was was is known by the biggest players of Brazil. Today, still, <laughs> right? Over 20 years he played in these teams. So, um, he... No, no, his, he, didn't, he didn't play for over 20 years he can't. He didn't play. <laughs> so, in his... in At the height of his, everything, he used to do, like, he was a fixer, he was a gigolo, party planner. Um, he did everything. But I'll uh, say so his name, his actual name is... No, it is Kaiser. Have you heard of Renato Gaucho? Uh... No. He's one of the best no. Brazilian players of his generation. And he said, Kaiser is the greatest football pl- footballer never to have played football. <laughs> right. <laughs> so he was associated with um, Rio de Janeiro's four biggest clubs. That was Flamengo, Flum- Fluminense, Botafogo, and Vasco da Gama. Uh-huh. As well yeah. as Bangu, America, and a number of overseas teams. Um, but he basically <laughs> he, did... He made it overseas as well. <laughs> <laughs> he did everything in his power not to touch the ball. Okay? So it would start off something like um, he would turn up to the first practice session and... Fake an injury. Fake an injury. Muscle yeah. tear or something like that, which would mean that he would be out for, for quite a while. Mm. And then in the rare scenario that um, someone would try and call him on the pitch or for training or whatever, he'd just use different techniques to get out of it. So sometimes he would pay the younger players to like just basically bash him on the court. So he'd be like, oh, I'm injured. (laughs) Um, And then other times like he'd pay like spectators that were like always there to like shout his name so loud yeah, when the when yeah. the owner would be nearby. So they're like, Kaiser, Kaiser. So the owner's like, oh, this is a popular, like the, the spectators are here to see him. We better keep him Toby. Or like he would, um, he would just do any and everything to just get out of it. Just anything. <laughs> and he would basically go to all these big parties because he's a, he's, a, he's a, you know, got charm and charisma and so he was popular with the ladies mm. and he'd just spin a web of lies so he'd be like oh yeah i play by i play football or whatever and people would just sign him and but the most dangerous person that signed him was a kind of like um a kingpin of 
<laughs> sporting gambling. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, so I guess he wanted to win the matches and he owned a club. And I think that person's name was Carlos Alberto. So he spun a Webalize, whatever, and Carlos was like, I want to sign Kaiser. And so um, Kaiser's like, okay, whatever, you know, I'm signed to him. And still was just uh, injured. And then Carlos is like, I want I want you to, pl-. like, he, he, <laughs> he got onto the coach. He's like, I want Kaiser to play the next day. And Carlos found out and he's like freaking out, like, what, what am I going to do? And so um, he spoke to the coach and he's like, I'm feeling, you know, I'm not feeling the best. And coach was like, oh, you'll be a spectator on the bench. Like we won't put you on. But I think some people got injured and so he was called to go on, right? So he's like, shit, what am I going to do? I'm going to be dead. Like I can't refuse. Oh, because Carlos um, beat down to the coaches, like, put him on. I want him on. I want my best signed player on. That was his number one signed player. <laughs> so the coach was like, you're on. He's like, sure, I don't want to go to. So I think he'd heard someone in the um, the crowd say something about long head F word. F-A-G-G. Like long head. <laughs> oh. And so he was like, oh, this is okay, my chance. Emma, Emma, if you spill the word. It's kind of like saying it. Well, I didn't want to. I didn't spell it in its entirety. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't want to say that word. So, um, so he's it's like, a "This is my word chance. for a gay person." So, yeah. So this is my chance, and he was, and he basically picked a picked a fight with the crowd, the other team's crowd, and it created a riot. <laughs> and he got away with it again. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, so then, amazing. after the game, the um, that guy, oh, his name's Castor de Andra, Andrade, sorry called him to his office and so kaiser starts going um he goes oh what did he say he goes he goes um god has taken both my parents away but gave me another father as in you you're my father uh father who 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 they accused of being a crook he's saying like i stuck up for you uh whatever and um so he goes so i lost it and i went for them i'm so sorry but you know my contract's ending soon and i'll be off type thing and uh castor was like just loved his speech that he extended his contract and gave him a pay rise (laughs) (laughs) pause the podcast okay if you are listening on your phone pick it up right now go on to your twitter instagram facebook get us at the b-side word and did you know that we actually record these with video as well you can find us on youtube again at the b-side word and we would love it if you subscribe a a, a, i can't even speak a subscribe uh, yeah, there we go the if remix. you want you can leave us some comments we love to engage and you know so, what so, so, let me ask you this if you do follow us on any of these already what is it you would like to see from us leave us some comments let us know Oh, what, he said. what he said. What he said. Subscribe. I can't say the word for some reason. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> and pause the podcast. Was you on sport? Apparently, Lamelo got signed to Charlotte Hornets. He did to the MJ's franchise. Third pick. Uh, oh, fu- finally, it can happen. I am so pumped well, for this. It's the not going to happen. One on one, Lavar Ball and Michael Jordan game. No, it's not going to happen. I'm so pumped. I hope they televise it and Jordan puts fifty on him. <laughs> what? I hope Lavar wins because I think that'd be way more entertaining. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. way, way more entertaining. <laughs> okay, if if Lavar wins, we'll never hear the end of it. I That's feel what, bad for Jello though. He's Why? the only one that didn't make it. So, it wasn't good enough. I mean, he's, he's, no, that's he's why I feel bad for him. Oh, he's you still a pro? For, yeah, he's still a pro. I, I mean, I don't feel bad for him. He's part of a multi-millionaire family because his two brothers play in the NBA. That's not a bad thing. Yeah, life. exactly. <laughs> his two brothers and he wasn't good enough to make it. It's like, oh. What do you mean? He's your <laughs> what the hell are you saying? <laughs> well, that's what he wanted, right? What, that was his dream as well to go partici- into the NBA. Participation award? No, that's why I'm saying I'm sorry for him. I feel bad you can for play, him. You can play because your brothers are playing. <laughs> I, so this was I, I don't quite, feel sorry um, for him. I feel sorry for me. I wish I had two brothers that could play in the NBA and I can sponge off them for the rest of my life. <laughs> what about the other kid that went to um, RJ, RJ, one that went to um, New Zealand? RJ Barrett. Did he get Number one. drafted? He, he got he, picked. Now he, he got drafted, Denver. I think, 20. Oh, did yeah. he? 20? Yeah. Um, but just, I reckon that was just a good quickly pick. On, the, uh, on the Ball Brothers. Yeah. C- Lavar is, you know, a very outspoken, obnoxious type of personality. But mm. to his credit, 
They are the first brothers to get drafted in the top 10 since I think it's the 70s. I love Lavelle. The f- They've been in the top five. And the first brothers to be drafted in the top five ever. And on top of that, the two people who drafted the brothers were Magic Johnson and Michael Jordan. So that's, that's yeah, pretty impressive. Yeah, that's got to say something. <laughs> wow. That's got to say something. But I, I, I like Lavar. And I've got nothing he's still that. trying to get Jello World contract, to have contracts that way. <laughs> he, he's, he's not done yet. Maybe Jello, Jello is can be an Carlos. unrestricted free agent. Maybe Jello can be Carlos. <laughs> Jello in the anywhere. D League, you know. I would say, watch out. He might be one of those players who gets that like ten day contract when he's thirty or something, and then subsequently gets to stay on a team or something. Ten day contract. Yeah. It's unreal. Yeah, they offer... So if you play in the G League, you can get 10-day contracts to come up and play in the NBA. They normally do it if, they, if they've if they got a lot of injuries or something and need someone to fill in. And then mm. if you prove yourself, they're like, oh, get him, get him could, another 10-day. Prove himself could again. You imagine, oh, keep. Could you imagine him getting a 10-day contract and you find out he's the best one? <laughs> Just, <laughs> he could have like, his own... Shit, um, no one drafted him. You know how there was uh, Jeremy Lin and he went on that run and then there was this whole thing called yeah. Lin Sanity? What would Jello yeah. be? What would Jello be? I don't even know what you're talking about. Boss sanity. Lin sanity. Bors out. I you never heard of Lin sanity? <laughs> Jello mania. But let's say, ooh, uh, ooh, gel-tastic. What did you say? Jello mania? Yeah. Jello mania? Gel-tastica. Gel-tastica? <laughs> gel-tastica? <laughs> um, the third ball? Oh! <laughs> 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 it's ball time. <laughs> Brilliant. The third oh. ball. I like that. Oh. So that's that's kind of what the NBA were like. Weren't? Oh, you're the third ball. We have, we don't we don't have a place for third balls. We're a, we're a two ball kind of league. Oh, welcome to the ball. Yeah. Oh, welcome to the ball. Hey, how about that one? Ah. Hey, you like that one, Ems? No, I'm paying attention. How rude. New, new job. Sorry, I was li- I was actually Definitely reading answer. Jordan's response to, to LeVar's um, I could beat Jordan, whatever. He's like, <laughs> it took so long for Jordan to respond. And then he goes, it, do- it, it doesn't deserve a response, but I'm going to give it to you because you asked the question. I don't think he could beat me if I was one-legged. Does that not sound like Michael Jordan? No. <laughs> No. No. no, no. First of all, Michael Jordan's not from the South. <laughs> that wasn't the South. He's not from the South. That was that sounded Southern. Oh, there you go. Well, was Michael Jordan? Was are you sure? Where was he born? Isn't he from? Um, where is he North from? North Carolina, right? Oh yeah, Carolina. Carolina. Yeah, that's kind of South-ish. Ish. <laughs> Yeah, it's, like, it's kind of on Emma, the cusp, isn't it? Emma, you yeah. didn't sound like Michael Jordan. <laughs> oh, I wish I could do his accent. Just his, <laughs> specifically <laughs> Michael Jordan. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't yeah. care about anyone else's accent, just Michael Jordan. <laughs> Emma, what, what would be your superpower, Michael Jordan's accent? <laughs> <laughs> No, oh God, not play like Jordan. Not play like hesitation. Jordan. Not sound like, like Jordan. <laughs> how good would it be to have a super power to to do anyone's voices? Anyone? Why? Because you could pretend. Unless you want to commit fraud. Why? I guess it would only yeah. be useful to commit fraud. On. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a bad superhero. Like, no, but like, you could you, you, use you it. Call, to- you call the bank up. I'm Michael Jordan. Can I please have a hundred million dollars? I need to buy an investment property. And they'll release but, the money to your account, and that's it. I guess you but don't, could but use don't it wire to... it to my regular account. Like, send it to this one with this different name. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't ask questions. <laughs> yeah. I'm Michael Jordan. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Yeah. I it am is... Michael Jordan. <laughs> it is your I would NS. like you to wire it. It is your NS. I would like I would you to like... transfer a million dollars. 100 million, sorry. <laughs> One hundred million dollars to this charming young man I just met. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch the actual draft because I didn't actually watch it. It was quite uh, oh. underwhelming, wasn't it? Yeah, it wasn't that good this year. 
Because I mean, everyone was... Are drafts ever really that good to watch? Once you know who's it. been picked, do you go back yeah, and watch you... it? Nah. I usually enjoy watching the trades what happen in between. Uh, see, trade season opened up yesterday, so I'm just super excited yeah, about that. A lot of and stuff's and happening. Free... And free agency started today, I think. Sorry, that's what I mean. Free agency start, yeah. Because I, I know, I know the Lakers have made some moves. Oh my gosh, the funniest! Right, have you seen? You got served. Yes. As in the original movie. The original movie. Yeah. It, you know, um, whatever his name is that goes and joins Wade's team, the Wade dancer. Yeah. Yes. That video has been tweeted out in response to Montrez Harrell, who was one of the centerpieces, a sixth man of the year in the NBA of the Clippers, who was just signed with the Lakers. Ooh. <laughs> We're in the same building. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. But why, why did the Clippers? Why did the Clippers let him go? He's they didn't let him go. Yeah. Oh. He decided he, he doesn't. I, I think there's a lot more behind that. I think he didn't like playing with um one of the star players there. Yeah, he probably just sat there and went, we lost up 3-1 to Denver. They won a championship. I'm going with him. Oh. But who, who doesn't no, he like, think, who's, who I, doesn't I, I, he I, like I, on the Clippers? I think poor, I think I don't think he liked poor George. Oh. Yeah, the, the team, there's a bit of turmoil in the team in regards to the fact that the Clippers gave up everything to get these two players, Kawhi and Paul George, and then Kawhi and Paul George subsequently barely played all season, but get the most minutes, the most pay, the best treatment, all that kind of stuff. So there's a bit of resentment, reported they didn't, resentment. They didn't play because they were injured? No, they're being rested for the playoffs. They're load management, they call it. What? Load management? Yeah. Yeah. I, I will say this. When it comes to the NBA in general, personally, too many games. 82 games in about six months is absolutely absurd on the body, yeah. especially yeah, if you yeah, go yeah, through yeah. playoffs. Yeah. But if everyone else is doing it, you can't just say to the star players, oh, you can take this one off. And when they're not going to practice, they're not doing the things that the other players are doing. Um, and then, kind of be and like, then... Imagine you're at work and like one of your one of your colleagues, the boss is just like, oh yeah, take the day off whenever you want. It's Carlos. Cool. And then when they come to work, they don't have to do anything. Yeah, Carlos. <laughs> Carlos, I tell you. Yeah, and their friends were you made the cut here. With them and stuff. You made the cut. Number eleven pick, Devin Vassal. That's, we'll just that's, go with Devin. That's not me. No, Devin. It's Devin. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Vassal. That's cool. Hmm. Oh, mate. So yeah, I think it, that that upset him a bit, mm. and I think that's why he joined the Lakers to say, "I'm going to show you guys." Hmm. They've actually made some good signings too. Yeah. Wesley Matthews. Yeah. And I like the fact for that LeVar, that yeah. everyone doubted that his method would work. And he's I, gone I and shown them. Yeah, no one doubted that's that true. his method was going to work. Oh, many people doubted his method would work. Oh, did they? Many people. No, they said it wasn't the best thing to do to they take said, your name kids one. out Yeah, of exactly. School. They said it's not yeah. the best thing to do. It's not going to work. What, like, what is it? Basically, what is he doing? And other people said it, but you know, could work, could work. Not, oh, has it worked? I don't think people say it, it wouldn't <coughs> work, but you, you can't really now compare if it was the best thing to do or not because they didn't stay in school. What? So, yeah. Like, they could have both like, been drafted number one if they stayed in school for all we know. Yeah. Oh, like, um, I see what you're saying. Le- 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 but they thought it was a mistake, but it wasn't a mistake. That's what it I'm was. Saying. I mean, Jello He's got one didn't son who's not playing. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. Jello went and, and and stole stuff in when they were in China or Japan. Yeah, but that was well, the reason yeah, but... he then took his other son out. Like he took them both out of school because of that. Like he could yeah. have just left him in school. He still would have been able to play yeah. the next year. Yeah, and not just, just that. If he doesn't, and now that another head, he hasn't made it, he would have got something important: an education. Yeah, I don't. I think he's pretty set, but yeah. Siege with the boom. Mm. Yeah, I don't know about education. Anyways, he could have he could have become an agent for his brothers. <laughs> I don't know about and that. And take a ten percent. I see a lot of uh, uneducated people with a lot of money. Yeah. 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 Lemelo Ball. Nah. <laughs> What's more important, though, Dev? Money or knowledge? 
Wisdom. Money. The whiz to the dumb. <laughs> Talking about education, this is I, I was watching the news yesterday and they were talking about this girl. She's in high school. Actually, our local high school. And you know how like schools have these tech competitions mm. um, and they might go up against other schools and they're all sort of, you know, I don't know, I was in like the Americans oh, where yeah. they have to make like yeah. science I was stuff. always in them. <laughs> or not like tech, like the science tech type things and who can make the biggest yeah. volcano or yeah, whatever I, it might be. I know be. exactly what, uh, they used to, I was the first recruit all the time. <laughs> I've never actually been I was been like the first either. round draft pick. So you know. this school was, you know, I guess they were coming up with some tech idea, whatever. Mm. This girl, she's partially blind and she came up with a wearable for when she's gaming because mm-hmm. she likes gaming, but she struggles because she has to like go really close to the screen. She can't really see. And, you know, people try and tell, help her out sometimes, but by the time she's got help, she's dead or whatever. So she came up with a wearable <clears throat> and it's like, gloves Mm. and for instance um if she's about to hit into an object um it will the gloves will change temperature Mm. they'll go cold so she's programmed that to go cold when it's within however many feet away from the wow object yeah yeah she won this competition oh obviously yeah microsoft (laughs) was so impressed if she she didn't (laughs) microsoft (laughs) was so impressed with it that that apparently wait can we go into the concept can i just delve into that concept i don't well i couldn't i that's all they said that's the only thing but but like for her to see a wall and go right when there's a wall in front of me I'm going to, like, change the temp in my glove. Man, that is amazing. Mm. Yeah. That is... That's quite impressive. Impressive. Mm-hmm. Talk, talk, is... me through, talk me through this, Dev. What about this... Impre- I'm, I'm not, by the way, discri- I'm just curious. What about this is impressive to you? Well, because I have... Uh, we have all our senses, right? We can... There's so much we can, like, use to get to game. But you, when you close your eyes, I'm closing my eyes and imagine playing Mario Kart, right? And I don't know when to turn left or right. I don't know what the hell's happening. I don't know what's in front of me. And then if my gloves are giving me the sensory um, feedback that feedback. I need to to do the game, it's so impressive. Like I go when it, yeah. my left hand's cold, go left. And I guess if it's colder, I guess you just have to be very... Um, sensory aware of like if it's colder maybe you turn hard left or if it's not as cold you turn a bit left i don't know it's just to me it's just like it opens up i don't know i'm just amazed by this girl and she's young (laughs) so so something that i think's really interesting about this in general is and this by the way i'm not in any way trying to describe this is an absolutely amazing thing if you think about her though and her experience her awareness of sensory feedback is completely different to us. Yes. So like the pathway of her thinking something like that is different to how we would come to that same yeah. place. Mm. Yeah. But what I would say though about that is that's also why it's then really important that whenever things are happening or being developed and stuff, you have people with completely different situations. Yeah. Because yeah, yes. if you think about coming to solutions, you're going to think about things from completely different perspectives. Yeah. But this, yeah, I think it's at, like that is to think about temperature. Like I, I was thinking at first, like if you, you know, PS5, mm. Seed, you're, you're all over this. They've done the, yeah. I've, the haptics. I haven't got one yet. But you know about the haptics and the controller now. So like yeah. haptic feedback being um, like it, things change. For example, there's a game pairing that's really good specifically for this. Like it's not an amazing game, but for haptics it is so it will vibrate or react in certain ways depending on what you're interacting with. So if you're holding sand, apparently you could feel you, like you, the oh, texture wow. of sand. You're meant, to, like, you're meant to be able to feel the game inside the controller. Really? Like the ground, everything. Yeah. Wow. That's why my really expensive controller for pro gaming, I can't use on my PS5 when I get it. Wow. That's amazing. Because it hasn't got it. So, like, if you're doing something with a spring, for example, and you're using the trigger, as you get put more tension on the, str- the spring, it gets harder and harder to press the trigger. So, what? like, different things. Wow. But that, for her to... She's essentially 
develop something very similar, but use temperate, like to think about using temperature again, yeah. like that's such a different way to go about it. Like that's, I don't know. It's, it's that's fascinating. Intense. Yeah, it's, like it's intense. She's smart. She's smart cookie. Smart yeah. cookie. Smart girl. Yeah. So uh, oh. Microsoft were impressed and I think they're inviting her to <coughs> sneeze. Excuse me. To potentially help to sneeze, develop this, to sneeze wow. publicly. Wow, that's, that's amazing. It's amazing. Because uh-huh. I was when you brought up the the, the science fair type thing, I was going to joke oh, about. Go. Oh, you mean when one kid makes the volcano? Yes, everyone always makes a volcano, <laughs> yeah. and then like another kid makes this crazy futuristic technology, and you're like, oh, it, like it always happens in the films, and you're like, yeah. that's unrealistic. No kid's doing that. Bam! Here, here, here this girl go. goes, and she's it. that super impressive kid. Yeah, but it's always like um, the kids, like the kids standing by, besides the project, and the parents are like, "Don't touch it! I spent all night on this. Don't, <laughs> don't touch it." I found it. Sounds yeah. like you're speaking from experience. Um, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Mine so, was a middle mini model. I, I, she won a national uh, artificial intelligence competition. Wow! Mm. And this is just around the corner at our local school. Pretty cool. Mm. Hmm. How old is she? She's in high school. It doesn't say exactly. Oh, year 10. So about 15? Yeah, 15, 14, 15, 16, something like that. I want to I wanna say it starts talking to the boys if it starts tipping it I up. Mean, like, just to give you another <laughs> sort of perspective on this as well, looking at the other side of this. So the, f- the thing that triggers the feedback for the temperature, her being distanced from a... Like she's playing games that everyone else is playing and she's somehow gone into the code of that game and figured out when to know that she's a certain distance from a wall. But yeah. I don't know. That to me is almost <laughs> more impressive wow. than the actual glove yeah, part. That's pretty cool. Like that's... <clears throat> hmm? Oh, hmm? oh, this has got my juices spinning. I want to build something now. <laughs> and we will take a short break from our podcast so that Alex can give us some important information. What up, what up, what up, what up? We are back on the B-Side Word and we have an announcement for you. We would just like for you to give us a bit of attention. That's right, we want you to get onto Instagram, onto Twitter, onto Facebook and follow us at the B-Side Word. And if you're feeling really, really good, you can leave us a comment, even a like, maybe subscribe to the channel, or even rate us, review us on your favorite podcast listening app. Anyway, back to the episode. Dev? And back to the podcast. Would you prevent an accident from happening? An accident from happening. Yes. How do you prevent an accident? So, this is the example, right? So, I bought something from the shops. I get into my car. And when I get into my car, I have a routine, right? Because i got to set, set up Spotify, the Bluetooth, and everything. So, I turn on the car. And um, I looked up at a car waiting to park in my spot, but that car was looking at two people reversing out of their spot, right? So I looked up this bloke, and he's just stopped right in front of me, so I can't leave, right? And then I look at where he's looking, and he sees a van and a car reversing out of their car space. And it's like in slow-mo, right? These two cars aren't going at, like, fast paces. They're going slow, 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 and they eventually hit. Now, I look at the car that's running back in front of me. Were you going to do anything? And I looked at him and I said, Why didn't you beep the horn? Why didn't you beep the horn? That's what I was thinking. But then, wait a sec. Why didn't you? Because you saw it happen too. No, by the time I looked over, it was getting to the point where they were Uh, already about to hit. So if I... My beep wasn't going to stop the accident from happening, right? (laughs) My other thing was, they both had reversing cameras and the (laughs) sensors on the car. (laughs) (laughs) And in my head, I was thinking, do they think their sensors are broken or is their camera not working? So they kept going and then, but, and you know what the thing was? As soon as they hit, they accelerated so fast back into their spots, (laughs) right? And I was like, and I, I was just thinking, if you were in that position, would you beep your horn? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How much of an arsehole do you have to be? I think you just naturally beep. Beep your horn. Yeah. I would not only beat my horn, I'll yell at both of them for being stupid. <laughs> no, honestly, you guys know I work in insurance like, claims. You guys are idiots. This is one of the biggest ones I hear 
all the time. Yeah. Two people reversing out of a car space. Hit. But I don't understand. But they were liable. But they were liable. But they were liable. Where are you looking? Because when you're reversing, the only place you should be looking is behind you. (laughs) But even to me, because... Yeah. Yes, but they don't. Like, I... There's so many times, like, nearly every week this almost happens. Like, Mm. I... I'm parked and I... I, Because I work in insurance, I always make sure, because I know how often it happens, that I take extra time to make sure when they're reversing. So I might have my reversing lights on. And I'm waiting, waiting. Or they haven't done anything. So they're parked. I've got my reversing lights on and I'm coming out. They put their reverse their reverse lights come on and they just suddenly pull out regardless that I'm coming out. And I'm like, and they just don't look. They have no concept that there's other cars behind them. Mm. So it definitely does happen all the time. They just don't. They're just like, yeah. Reverse yeah. out. I've been I've, I've been I've been in the hippo three times. I know what happens. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's not funny, CJ, it's but when months. you say it, it's funny. <laughs> in terms of like wh- whose fault it is, like yes, whose fault we is it? ask questions such as, um, how far out was were you, mm. and how far out was the other car person who's further out, is less likely to be liable. Let's say they're seventy five percent out. If you're going and slowly ones, and the other guy goes fast, that's what I was he'll say. be out quicker. Yes, but let's say you're twenty seventy five percent out, or you're like on your turning angle, like you're about to sort of turn the wheel, or you've straightened up and they well, if you've straightened up and they hit you, they're at fault. But if you're like out three quarters, they're out twenty five quarter twenty five percent, they're more liable. You're more they're more liable. However, usually with with this situation, it will be EBO, which is each bear own. So you'll each bear your own costs. Oh, okay. Yeah. How, how about, it's very hard to... How about when you're like, when you're, when you're reversing out or like you're driving and looking for a car space and the person's reversing out, right? And you see that you're going to get hit. It's not going to be a big impact, but you know you're going to get hit. <laughs> I forget the horn and I just start screaming. <laughs> Hey! Hey! Stop! Stop you! And I'm looking at the window. I go, stop! I think I scream too. Stop! Damn you! <laughs> and they're not. They're not stopping. <laughs> and they're getting closer. Have see? Have you ever been in go, hey, an hey, accident hey. where you're just kind of calm, not like an- frustrated, annoyed, whatever, but calm? So like the last time I was in an accident years ago, now it was my fault. I went into the back of someone. But at the moment I realized it was about to happen, I just was oh fuck. Like, I, I, <laughs> I, there was, I just, there was no point in getting like high energy yeah. about it. Oh, yeah, fuck. yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, see, 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 my accidents, they've all been a mystery because I have not known they're coming. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a stop surprise. telling him like it's a funny so, joke please i can't stop laughing what do you mean <laughs> he said so. like uh, i'll be driving and then boom and i'm like oh someone hit me <laughs> wait where did they come from yeah what happened oh hit me in the back again uh young oh. lady hit me in the ass again oh, <laughs> again <funny>. oh. <clears throat> Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, hit on the side again. All right. So that's another episode of the B-Side Word. I am Devin. I'm here with Emma and I'm here with Alexander and I'm here with CJ. I'm only saying their names because I forgot to mention them at the beginning of the episode. So thanks again for listening. Hocus pocus. So what you say? Stay in focus. What, 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 what you're saying is waterfall. You, you would not say our names if you didn't forget them originally. Yes. That's correct. It works. I actually do like the I do like the wa- I do like the waterfalls yeah. when I'm sleeping because it makes me feel calm. <laughs> yeah. What's so TLC, I, TLC's version? I have a. No 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 no. Oh yeah. Macaroni and cheese. Is it?